Hello everyone, welcome back to episode two of Fitness Miss Debunked with our yoga master, Aki. So we have a few more myths that we wanna to debunk today. So actually our last episode, we debunked three myths. Yeah. So this will be myth number four. And this one is actually a little bit kind of weird. I, it's uncomfortable for me to say, but I think it's important for us to address it. Some people say that yoga is kind of sneakily religious because of all the head bowing and the namaste. Can you explain the kind of uh, aspects of all that around uh, yoga? It's good to be back with you, Dan, again. Mm. And uh, on your question, I think this yoga straight away, it's not a religion. Like I told last time, this is the way of life. Mm. We have a life. We have an experiment going on, how to have a better life, how to improve, bring improvements. Mm. And the yoga is the most ancient. We say to five to 10,000 years before. And I think not many religion was there at that time. Yeah. They are a few thousand years old only. So this is not related to religion. Rather, it is related to human being. Mm. People, they are like, that's why we put it as one of the method. Why? It's, that's why it's not true. Mm. That's why sometimes it is being re related to Hindu or Indian culture. Right. But India also not a religious country. It's a secular country. Yeah. Every religion people live there. Most important fact, see how much all over the world, mm. you can say any age, any part of the world, mm -hmm. yoga is absolutely being popular and practiced yes. by human beings. Yeah. Because of its benefit, real, realistic benefit for human beings. Mm. That's why we, and we best that we bring this question here and we should mm. clear it that yoga is not related to any religion, rather it's related to our health and mm. each and every human being. Mm. As long as they have a high, uh, life, they have something in mm. yoga to make half better in their life. Right. I mean, if you call getting fit, getting peace of mind, working your mental health, getting less stress in your life, getting more fit, uh, getting more peaceful and happy, a religion, then great, that's a religion. That's a religion that everyone should be a part of, right? Totally agree, yeah. But uh, thank you for your explanation and namaste. Yes, namaste. namaste. So our fifth myth that we need to debunk, and I think it's quite easy to debunk because I've taken yoga classes before and I've seen these big men bodybuilders doing yoga and they can't last the class. So there is a myth out there that yoga is not for men because it's too easy or I'm not going to build muscle or something like that. And uh, I know that's a total myth, but I want to get the expert to actually give your view and your idea that the yoga is really not for men. <laughs> How can I answer being yeah, a man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all my teachers are male, uh, mostly, most, mostly yeah. men from India. Okay, let's go more deeper to understand it. There is no gender difference in yoga. Like we told, yoga is all for all human beings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think human, mm -hmm. there is man also. Mm -hmm. So ab absolutely this is for mm -hmm. every human being. Ladies, gents, men, women. Yoga is easy because they relate with flexibility. Right. And man feels muscular. Every human being have two sides. One feminine, one muscular. Mm. We relate in yoga, the muscular part we relate with sun, mm. bright, aggressive, mm. passion, moon, calm, cool, yeah. kind, passionate. So every human being, have two sides, men and women with So yoga is all about how to bring balance between these two. Right. That's why everybody has to do, especially for men. In India, a lot of men do. Mm. More men than women mm. in India too. But coming outside India, yeah. girls more. I don't know, sometimes maybe girls are more intelligent. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they are more uh, health conscious. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, one lady is good health means you take care of whole family, including them, his or men. Right. So sometimes I also get this question. I ask my members, oh, you are doing for long, but I never see your husband or your mm. male, part, male member of your family doing. No, they do gym and they think it's easy. Yeah. Then I request them, personally invited them to please come and join yoga classes. Mm. And they sometimes come with a really good, powerful body and they do practice with their thinny, slim mm. or old mother. Mm. But they cannot stand 20 minutes. They get mm. sweat and they feel uncomfortable. Mm. So this is not about power and uh, muscle. This is all about the coordination, how we use that muscles, how that muscles help to use other part of your body to mm. have a healthy living. Right. Mm. So I especially take this opportunity here to invite all the men, mm. please come and join and don't be hurry. One class, two class, you cannot get results. At least do consistently do for two months and please see the difference within you. Mm. You will feel really more man as per your term. Absolutely agree. I can say that since I've added yoga into my program, I've seen less injury. I've seen more muscle definition. I've seen that I've been able to lift heavier weights, uh, more flexibility, the muscles become longer and more healthy, and you burn more body fat. In one yoga class, I burn more calorie than I do in an in a hour of working out in the gym. So I do also challenge all those men to come in, try a yoga class, 
or try our yoga championship or yoga competition or California Sunrise Yoga Competition uh, and challenge your yoga for a better self. And I promise in doing so, you'll find yourself elevated to new levels every single day. Thank you Thank so you. much, Aki. I appreciate Thank it. You. I appreciate it.